When autumn leaves are falling down, autumn leaves, autumn, autumn, I like to paint a happy autumn scene. And I have to bubble myself up again. I have to go right to the rose where the leaves on the floor. Or, and I have to dream of an autumn color, lots of colors now. And I think what I will do, I will create a little bit of a sky there. And maybe a little hill is coming down. Maybe a little bit of a far by hill there. And then all the autumn leaves, all autumn colors of plants and growth, and, and uh, that all fires into the water there. And that's a happy ending. How about we fire off? A happy, happy, happy blue sky, autumn sky, happy autumn sky. Autumn leaves. Nice to have some autumn melodies in your heart, too. It's just beautiful. That's good. Nothing more. Now I will have far away, kind of a far away. The blues, the blues, the blues. That's a bit too blue. The, you cool off your blue with alizarin crimson always. Alizarin crimson and blue has a beautiful distance. See, it's a beautiful, see, that's a nice, nice distance. No, I can have it a bit higher, a bit of a hill, but I want to see there. See, good. You won't worry too much about this, and that was down here. Down here into yonder, and now we will. I will say, I, I just outlined it roughly. Come down the hill there, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and fire it into water. Good, it's all there, all there. Maybe I use my almighty knife and I make it rocket, very rocket, stony, and then into the soft green there. Stony, I put the white up here, heavy thick white, bit of Prussian blue, a little crimson, and mix myself a stony, stony. Do you like, can you see how it looks here, like marble? Oh, I could put a little touch of, uh, what? A little touch of. Prussian blue, yeah, more Prussian blue. That, that, see, that's good. That's good. Now, this color, I don't mix it dead, and then you just, just rough, whatever, whatever roughness on the hill is coming down. Stone, maybe one stone is sticking out furthermore up there, up there. See? Again, the, because it is colorful, it is, has all the colors in, and if I mix it dead, I couldn't get this, this movement there. You see, the, it shows already so many extra colors with one stroke. Yeah, something like this. Good. Now we will just let it run out and into the green. Now we will have, maybe I make it a little bit of more stony in between here. See? Just very rough, very rough. Stony hills coming down there. Have a bit more black might be nice. Yeah, I like it a little bit darker in some places here underneath. Oh, that's that's good. See, I just let the knife do the job. I'm not working right now. I'm just watching what my hands is doing. Good. And here I let it roll off. 
and maybe I take a bit more white and a touch of yellow already, mix that together here and let a bit of uh, warmer colors come in there. Like sand is, is falling off there, white and yellow and a touch of red. See something like this color now. Okay, leave it like that. Now I will use my one inch brush and I will have dark colors first. Let's play with dark colors because the inside of that whole deal is dark. Black, see I take off black, Prussian blue, sap green, and I just make it all, see. Dang, that's all lots of grout there. And here and up to the snow line, it's getting stony. First the docks, first the docks. When I have the docks, then I can show light. It's amazing when you, every time I go on TV, I have a devil of a time to think about what can you paint and you didn't paint before. Because I would like to show something new. Now, more or less, a landscape is a landscape, no matter what. There's water, sky, and trees, and mountains, or farms, or buildings, or houses. So, but it is all the same. Now, I try to create my own little scenes. <coughs> uh, Let's see how it will turn out. See, I know what I have in my mind, so there's no, no problem there. More dark, more dark. Here, more dark. See, out of the dark. And go right down, right to the bottom. First the darks, then you put the lights on top of that. And that becomes easy then. See? Dark. So, now we will create uh, with colors sun grout, yellow, green, I would say sun strokes. The, create your own strokes there for whatever you think it should be. The, it looks like a certain plant there sticking out. The, with yellow and sap green, I, I just try to... You know, let it disappear into the dark. See? Now you get the idea about uh, how, we, how we create our on scenes. More yellow. See? Then we can use reds. Lots of autumn color. Lots of autumn color. Whatever that is. Watch, I just try to get lots of autumn colors in there. Have to always try to get a clean brush because you touch that dirt and in no time your colors are dirty. I don't want that. See, I would like to have it clean, nice and red up there. And as it got down, let it disappear in the dirt. See, let it get disappear in the dead, in the dirt. <coughs> But always clean your brush because without the uh, uh, humic mud, I would say here is something red in there. <coughs> yeah. 
E. And here is something red. Now I want to start a different figure. See, there's a different figure, like a bush red, bush standing there. <coughs> clean your brush. Make sure always you have a clean brush, otherwise you make mud. Now I will go into yellow and white. Indian yellow is a nice sunny color. See, now we can have right in there. See? See how the colors pop up? But can, can you see the brush? How Maybe I show it here. Can you see how dirty the brush gets in no time? So I had all those nice light colors. So make sure always you wash the brush. That's why we have paint in, in here and... and uh, That's good. Hey, maybe here we just and let it disappear in the dark. See, that's good. Let it always disappear into the dark. <coughs> Sometimes I clean my brush just on the on the paper there, white and yellow. Maybe here would be nice. You judge, you, you pick the spot where you think you should, you will be happy if it gets in there. But see, by having light and dark, I can show you something, watch. I can go on again. If I had it all light, and I want to start a new, a new bush, see, then I would have to, See, watch, against the dark, I can start the new bush again. Can you see? That means, in other words, that's just the idea. Make it dark, 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 that disappear again. See, gives you a new beginning, a new beginning, <coughs> new beginning. <coughs> and now we will fire in. We will fire in. Sometimes you feel the strokes are not not the way you thought it should be, then you, see, you do it whatever you think, it's just uh, whatever pleases you. See how I take it off? White and yellow. Make sure the brush is always loaded. See how the brush is loaded? Can you see it here? Ah, that brush is loaded. Now we're firing maybe right there. And whisper, only whisper on the end. <coughs> See? See, when I, I, I can wash my brush off right there, because I only need the tips, the, the, the tips are dirty, so I wash them off, and that's it, that's it. Now I will have what? A reddish color again. I just look for colors now to make it autumn, autumnish. Autumnish? What would be wrong to have here? See? Sometimes that's good too. Then you use your little liner brush and you, you, you use a little crimson, that's a good color. And you just have a happy little tree going right in there. See? That's good. Oh, now we will go on. Watch now the red. In order to boost that red up, <coughs> now, there's a second stage now. In order to boost that red, I use white, bring it over here, and red. Now white and red, that gives you a nice highlight for the red. See, look at this. Now when you highlight this, watch this. 
e it's light coming from that side wash it off again make sure you have a clean brush then you fire in a dinner paint sticks on a thicker paint. Sometimes it's good to thin it down a little bit. So what I do, I go into the magic white. And then I have a little thinner paint now. Then I assemble this red here, you see? See how nice that turns out all of a sudden? By highlighting it with white and red. Even here, you can just Yeah, he gives you all the fun you want to find. Now I leave that red in and go into the Indian yellows, and it gives you beautiful, watch this colors here. See here, I create a kind of a Bottom line, I want to have, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you what will be happen soon. What will be happen in a minute. Yellow, and a touch of red. I load up my brush with all kinds of colors, and I will say here, See, but you see when, when I go through how the brush looks, can you make a close up on that? See how dirty it is? And it's only the tips of the hair, uh, the, of the brush, isn't it? So uh, before I wash it all out, I just scrape it off like this on my paper. Just scrape it off. I just get the dirt off. And then I can load the brush again. So I'm stingy, I don't want to lose so much paint. It costs a lot of money, that paint. See? Now we will fire in here. Lots of autumn colors. Lots of autumn colors. Very powerful. Very powerful. And that's fun to create all those beautiful colors on your, on your canvas. You know, I have to wash off the tips again, get rid of that dirt. That is a problem, all right. And then we fire in there. See, now the next step will be, I will pull that down. Watch this, that's a nice, see? I push it just down with, with, the, with my little brush. Or you can use a big brush. Actually, the best thing to do is always use, for that kind of uh, work, a big brush. Because the big brush has more, more, it covers more and, watch, see, watch. And I hold it, not this way, I hold it a bit flat, because it pulls it nice down. See, pulls it nice down. Uh, so two sides, then clean again, I clean just the tips off. Then I go down again, and turn it around. Here yeah, already you can see the glow. You see it glowing there, and that is what will sell. That will make you happy, and you make a happy buck. Now let's create a bit more powerful colors there too. I will use uh, yellow and white. I need that powerful colors there. See, then I can have it in the water there too. See, see this is what will sell. <coughs> Now again, take my paint off. And now we have a bit of red there. I like to have that red, that's good. So 
now we get those colors done right. See? Now we go again, grab that big brush, and I pull it all down again. You see, with the two strokes. And then either now, when it gets too dirty, then you wash the whole brush. But it's up to you. You can feel it. You see it. If you can turn white, then you can touch. That's all. See here again. Now I try to just get the tips off. No, I just go on the bottom long. I yeah, want it darker there anyway. Now we will clean the brush. And don't use any soupy paint for that, what I do here, because you never can, uh, it will fall apart on you. You have to have a solid hard paint for that. See, if I want to have more power, when you see it now, this, this is nice. I would love to have a little bit more, more, Maybe here, right in the middle. Then I create that. Then I create that. See, I go in here and create first the, in the background. I need that background tree. I lighten that up first. See? Get rid of that dirt again. And then I fire that right into the water. The light colors are hard to hold in the water. So I overdo it. You see, it looks so 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 overdone, but what when I finish it is it disappears a lot. But that would be good if I had a bit of light there. <coughs> See now we now we will we will we will watch this. See how it disappears? But it's a loose is it's half is on the brush. Can you see it there? See? And sometimes an upstroke, I want to have it, then the upstroke is good. See, otherwise, uh, I want to have it a bit closer up there. See, if you want to have it closer up, then you just see, in this case, I can move it up a bit. Can you see? See? You can move it down, you can move it up. It's all like rubber. Very good. Now we make water out of that. Oh, we let it blur. That little bit of a blur. It's just fantastic. Look at that. Oh, isn't that ever nice? You can eat it. It is so nice. You can eat it. It is so nice. Now we were powering kind of a short line. Look what I do here. White, yellow, and a touch of red, what I have here. That gives me a nice shoreline color and I would like to dream up there it's coming out there it's coming out there right from behind this little tree see and then see nice nice Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Then you can go as high up as you want to have that bank there. See, I put it down. I go just up a little bit. So as long as it pleases my eye. See, I would say it's coming down from here. Oh, that's good. See, good. And then go on this side. Do the same thing. I have this, this coming around here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe here we go on again. See? See, see, senora? There's what it looks like. Look at that. And you have fun with it. Isn't it nice? You enjoy it. And it is nice when you can do it your way. It's nice, it is my way. It is a painting I painted, and it is a day of my being here. If you want, you can have little scratches in here. See, in between, we create the 
three trunks if you want to. You need to do good. There you are. See, that is what it is. That is what it is. No, I want to have some darker spots there. Just darker spots there. Darker spots there, maybe here. And that will bring my painting to a happy ending. Let's highlight a little bit. I go into the magic white, a dinner paint, it then the paint will stick on the thicker paint. See, a little bit of magic white and yellow. And then you just can highlight a sample here would be nice. See? Just what you think it needs, that little bit of extra power. And then that's it. That's it. That is it. So we come to a happy ending. Maybe here would be a nice little touch of darker green, darker green in there. What more should I do? Isn't that nice autumn colors? You come off the hill, far away hill, and then that f powerful, uh, uh, all powers right into the water. And if you want, you can use a fan brush sometimes. I just show you this very close because I f have no time anymore. Use this kind of movements. See, a little bit of up movement. That is what it was. Thank you for watching me. You enjoyed it in the autumn colors. Bye bye.